Well, if we look at a derivative of a function in a certain point and we let this point vary, then maybe we can find a lot of derivatives for each value in the domain of f, for instance, we could find a der corresponding derivative, then we will see that we get actually the derivative as a function of the argument. So f prime is called the derivative of f on an interval. Yeah, if we can calculate for each x in the interval, we may calculate the corresponding derivative. So f prime is called a derivative of f on an interval if f prime of x which is defined as the limit of h going to 0 of fx plus h minus fx so the change in y value by taking a step h divided by the step size h if f prime of x if this derivative exists for any for all x's in that interval i. Yeah, so we get a new function. Given some function f, f prime will be a function as well. Well, the derivative of f is denoted in various ways. So we already use the notation f prime, but sometimes it's the argument is included, so f prime of x, or we just write y prime. If we refer to the function as y equals fx, we can also use the Leibniz notation as, as such, so y divided by d of x, or df divided by dx. It's not really division, but df over dx, or we write d dx regarding with respect to fx or we just write capital D as the differential operator or we write the derivative of x with respect to fx as follows. Yeah, so there's many ways to write this and it's depending on the context of your textbook at hand what notation will be used. So always look at the conventions that are usually described in the beginning, in the introduction of the book. Well, if we evaluate the, um, the function in some value a, then we again get the derivative of f in a. Then for the Leibniz notation, dy over dx is written as such. So dy over dx is L evaluated in x equals y. And the following notation should not come as a surprise. df over dx evaluated in x is equals a, etc. Okay, we'll look at the example of a quadratic function. So look again at fx equals x squared. Well, in the former example, we were studying for the derivative in 1 and we got as a value we got 2 but now we're going to do it more general so leave x open so x is any number and we try to calculate the derivative in x so we have to calculate the limit for h to 0 of fx plus h minus fx divided by h which is, of course, the limit of h to 0 of x plus h squared minus x squared divided by h. So if we remove the brackets so in, in a numerator, we get x squared plus 2hx plus h squared, and we subtract x squared, and we divide again by h. So now we see that actually x squared vanishes and uh, the numerator actually the fraction simplifies to the following yeah so x squared cancels against x squared minus x squared so we are left with 2x h plus h squared but divided by h this gives 2x plus h and we just substitute the value 0 and we get 2 of x 2 times x so actually the, the derivative function 
is given by f prime x equals 2x for any value x in R.